You also have a bottle opener, but for me it looks more like a like a like a something a mushroom. <laughs> mushroom. Mushroom. What is better, land noodle or boat noodle? Boat noodle. Boat noodle. Yeah, it's so, it's better. You know, like the broth is like very clean. So boat noodles, do they have to be cooked on a boat or just be eaten on a boat? Both. <laughs> oh, okay. So, so if you just cook them on a boat and eat them on land, they're gonna taste bad. Yeah. Look at the order of their shop: fermented fish, facial cream. <laughs> Yeah, imagine you uh, you mix it up. They make it sweet, not like so for a noodle. So it's like a noodle burrito. <laughs> yeah. So in the background there's one boat and it's sinking, like a real boat sinking, and they're rescuing everything from the boat. Never seen a sinking boat before. You should. That's a, that's wine. a cup in my size. That's a very cool cup. What's up, guys? Welcome to another video. It's 5 in the morning, we are here at the Mekong River and it's super, late. It's super early. It's very early and we're gonna go to a floating market. It's a bit scary. We are right about to enter the boat and it's still dark. But we trust our guide there in the front. And we are in Kanto. And yeah, let's see what do they bring. Yeah. Alright, that was fast. It took like 30 seconds from coming here and we're already on a boat. Yeah. And it's still super dark. Is your first time on a boat? Yeah, it's my first time. I'm very scared. Oh, we will be fine. I think they do it daily. I hope. But even the, the boatsman is wearing a life vest. Yeah. So I'm not sure if you can swim. <laughs> it's a bit shaky. And you can see the big tourist boats in the back already. Driving. Plus a group we have private boats. So it's just a small boat. Yeah, we have our completely private boat and it only costs like $15, like 400k. Yeah, 400k. Yeah, or $16. But you gotta get up early. Like we came and late and it starts at 5 normally. We wanna go to three different places. Uh, first one will be the floating market. Then we're gonna go to other two local places. So it's worth it. Oh, I think we have a motor too. Oh, we're just bumping into other tourists here. There's like a crowd of tourists getting on the boats. And I hope the sun will come soon so you can actually see something. Uh, but it's so peaceful. Yeah, Vietnam oh, so, so quiet, here. yeah. The yeah. sunset oh, yeah. will be coming on the other side there. There the sunset is coming. Uh, wow. You can see see the oh. source. Our engine is starting. It's gonna be a bit noisy, I guess. Wow! Oh my goodness! We have a very bumpy boat, so it's gonna be a bit shaky. <laughs> yes, <Yeah>, very shaky. <laughs> wow, I hope I'm gonna be fine. Yeah, we will survive. And as long as I'm on the boat, I think I will be fine. Yeah, as long as you're on the boat. <laughs> I don't know how to swim. Oh, look, there are some waves coming. <laughs> Oh wow. Oh. <laughs> Don't be too scared. <laughs> we're gonna survive. Okay, we're gonna show you guys where we're going once we're there. We're going to the floating market. Yeah. Let's go. See you. We're still driving. The sun is slowly coming. You can see it's much brighter now. And there's an army of tourists. Everywhere there are tourist boats. We're going to the battle, the fight battle. Yeah. We're gonna have a battle here on the river. Oh. I think the market's gonna be like very touristy. Yeah, very touristy. Yeah. I think like the local people, they don't uh, really need to go to the floating market. Yeah, the they, tourists. they can just go to their normal market. Yeah. yeah. Because on the both sides, we also have like uh, the normal streets for local people. They have houses and uh, local markets also. Uh, okay, gonna see when we're there. Yeah. Oh. So we have a we have a gas station here on a boat. 
but and if your motorbike is out of fuel, just yeah. go here. If you're riding on the river with your motorbike and you need fuel, you can get it here. Yeah. No, it's actually a gas station for boats. I never seen a boat gas station, but if you think about it, it's, it's obvious. Yeah, it, it makes sense. sense. Yeah. The sun by now is there, yeah. and I think we're getting closer, but I'm not sure. I have no idea how far it is. It's very cool here, very windy, very cool. Yeah, very refreshing, not so hot. Yeah. But we're gonna continue to follow the other tourists. Let's go. So our motor just stopped working because some plastic bag got mixed up into the uh, rotor oh. blade. But now we're back in game. Yeah. Now we're the last tourists. Oh, I think there's one more boat behind us. We don't need to be a very fast, yeah. we are different. Let's go. They have their food very well prepared. It looks like we are reaching the floating market because there are a lot of like restaurants and stuff there and a lot of tourists. Let's see. You can already see there, there are a lot of people buying fruits and selling fruits from the boats. Like right there, they just bought fruit. Okay, if you want to buy something, just call them and they will like connect to your boat. Yeah, yeah. Can, yeah, yeah. I think you can just call them and yeah. they will come and sell you your stuff. Well, it's very noisy, we're around, surrounded by a lot of boats. Like, like a fight. Wow, well, in front we have a lot of boats also. Oh, I want to see more fruits. We are just like in the beginning of the floating market. We'll see more. Yeah, you can also see, I think, a lot of people are actually living on the boat. Do you think they live on the boat? Yeah, they even like hang their clothes here. Oh yeah, they dry their clothes here. I mean, that's cool, you don't have to pay rent. Yeah. You can live anywhere you want. Uh -huh. And if you don't like it, you can just go to the ocean and swim to America. <laughs> oh, boat full of pineapples here. She's enjoying the morning. And she's enjoying the morning, yeah. Oh, they have something uh, on the Oh, plate. some uh, jam, some radish or something. Yeah. Oh, now all of the boats, they sell plants and pineapples. Yeah. Oh wow, coffee, then we have a boat there, selling uh, pumpkins. Oh yeah, pumpkins. What do oh. they sell there? Oh, they also have yeah. TED flowers. Yeah, they're selling uh, sweet potatoes. Oh, we have a woman here making herself a coffee. <laughs> oh, that's so relaxing here. Maybe oh, I should live here. They're also getting people on boats here. I guess if we want to buy something here from the floating market, yeah. then we probably need to tell our driver yeah. to like, oh, stop, we want yeah. to buy something. Yeah. yeah, let's buy something. I really want to try the tomato and uh, tofu noodles here. Ah, I, thought you, I thought you just want to buy some tomatoes. <laughs> tomatoes and... I, I would love some coffee. Tofu. Oh, coffee. We'll buy coffee. Let's oh, see. Let's go on the coffee hunt. They have flag on the boat. So we're gonna have noodle breakfast. Yeah. And also you can see here, it's like a big reunion. There are all of the boats full of tourists. I've never seen so many tourists in my entire life. Not yeah. even in Paris or something. It's just like a normal day. That's, that's a lot of tourists. Yeah, that's a lot. 
And we are on our hunt now for some noodles. Yeah. For who too? Oh, ah, yeah, also good. Maybe we can try hotel and bundu at the same time. Yeah. You go take uh, hotel, I take bundu. I, I wonder why they are all stopping here. Uh, they are resting. Oh, they are having noodles. Oh yeah, a lot of them. Yeah, they are all having noodles. Maybe you need to book the noodle tour. <laughs> book noodle tour. Oh. Oh, fruit. Yummy, yummy. The milky apple. Hey, we found the breakfast boat. It's right in front of us. We're trying to get some coffee and some noodles now. Oh, but the, the driver just told me that it's too crowded here, so we need to wait for a long time. Yeah. So he would drive us to, uh, to see more over there and come back here to eat later. Yeah. Okay, so we're gonna find a different place. We trust our driver. Yeah. He probably knows this place better than us. Yeah. You want some food? They sell like very fresh foods here. You arrived in some place and we have a little pet. But what is this place? These are uh, local specialties. Yeah, so we have some like durian cakes here. Durian cakes, we have some like strawberry products here. Oh, dried fish. It smells very good. You wouldn't expect it to smell very good here. Oh, they even craft from fish. Look, they stick a lot of fish together. Oh. Oh. I even make them very beautiful shape. Also, we all got our own number here. So we're not going to lose our boat. Oh, what is this? What is this here? Oh, it's like all for... For treating, what do you want to do? sneeze a lot. Oh, look at this. I think it's made from coconut. Yeah, yeah. I'm going to eat it. It's very cheap. It's very affordable. Oh, that's a, that's a cup in my size. That's a very cool cup. I really. Oh, is there a price? No, I just. 30k. So for one dollar you can get this huge cup. Oh. You also have a bottle opener, but for me it looks more like a like a like a something a mushroom. <laughs> mushroom. Mushroom. Oh, it even has balls. Oh, okay, it's obvious. It's it's not a mushroom. Oh. I thought it's just by accident, <laughs> but it's actually on purpose. Oh. I'm here for drinking water. You want some water? Oh, yeah, very good. Oh, here's the toilet. We're not gonna film the toilet. Here we have roux. Oh, apples. Yes. Yeah. Oh, also, also sorry if the volume is a bit messed up because there's, there's a lot of music there. Oh, it's the fermented fish for the fermented fish noodles. Oh, we ate it in a different video. We can bring it home. We can cook it ourselves. Like pieces of fish. Like, look at uh, the order of their shop. Fermented fish, facial cream. <laughs> yeah, yeah, imagine you uh, you mix it up. Oh, wow. Oh, massage tools. We have some rice cracker, I think. Yeah, I like... Wait, this one is with ginger. With ginger flavor. Oh, it doesn't look like rice. It looks like the grains. Wheat or something. <laughs> rice. Sure, it's rice. Yeah, rice. Yeah. Oh, yeah rice. It looks interesting. Oh, here we have another mushroom. This one is for 
uh, with pendant leaf and uh, also with pendant milk and pendant leaf. Oh, That's someone it. put the. Yeah, I, I just seen it. I just seen it. The, the mushroom. Oh, we have the rice paper. It's not rice paper. It's made from uh, coconut. Coconut. And the milk. It's very sweet. Oh, uh, we want to go in the other section. Yeah, we have the other section. Oh, I thought this section. And we go from one room to another, and it's like there's water. Water in between. Yeah, they have the same products. Like same products, but very loud speakers. So let's go to the other side. Other side. Yeah, it's too noisy. Here. <coughs> oh, there they make the coconut candy. Got it for noodles. Yeah. Oh. You know, I'm gonna travel somewhere. I usually buy this one for my family. Oh. Is there a snake? A snake that when you deploy them, oh. they will like, get bigger. They're yeah, I really like them. You know, in India they have a similar thing, it's called papar. And when I first bought it, I bought it like this. And I thought you could eat it like this. I didn't know you need to fry it. So I'm eating it and it's like eating a rock. That was my first first day in India. Like five years ago. Oh, they have a lot of cool stuff. Oh, here they make noodles. That's cool. So, I guess they just... They are making something over there. They just like use a machine. Then the machine makes like a flat big noodle and cuts it into like longer noodles like noodle stripes and there wow what does she make let's check this out she's crafting something So it's like a noodle burrito. <laughs> yeah. Uh, you, they use the batter like uh, for noodles, but they make it like squid and they have some stuff here, like mung beans and coconut. Oh. Yeah. Oh, and you went, ah, the people buy it, and then, ah, she cuts it. Yeah. That's cool. 35,000 for one portion. Oh. That's so cool. So it's like a sweet noodle dish, but instead of making the noodles, they just roll it. Put some ingredients. Oh, that's, that's, it looks yummy, but I don't like sweet. But there's more. There are more buildings. I didn't expect here to be so much. Oh, that's the coconut candy structure. Oh. Okay, guys, I just I just connected the microphone, so now people can hear us much better. I hope. And what we have here, right on the other side. It's a famous dish here. It's pizza hu tiu. Hu tiu is a type of noodle. And they are deep, deep frying the, the noodle to make like a base. And it looks like pizza. So yeah. We'll put some uh, like fillings on the top. And we wanted to try it for a different video. But we couldn't find it. Yeah, we couldn't and, find but it. But we found out the story about how it was invented. A foreigner came to eat it, you told me. And he said, oh, it looks like pizza. And then, and then they just renamed it to Pizza Hutio. Yeah. Oh, that's, that's a cool story. Let's see what else we have here. Let's have some candies here. Coconut, coconut crackers. 
Here I think is the same noodle we we seen before. And here's a small candy. Can we try it? I think this one is I want the green one. Very, very sticky. Which one you try? The other green one? Yeah, greener. Oh. Very, very sweet. Chewy. Yeah, very chewy. Mm. But they have like some, how you say it? Uh, stables. Oh no. Uh, like coconut pieces. Like inside. You can try them and buy them. Yeah, this one has also not peanuts. Oh, peanuts! Not yeah. for me. All right, let's see if there's something more, or if it's just the same. This all, yeah, those are all the noodles we've seen before. But yeah, even tiny noodles. That's so cute. I think these are for... You want to buy one? I want to buy two. Now someone has to eat the noodle you touch. <laughs> no. They're going to boil it. That's fine. Can you squeak? No sugar. Again, going from boat to boat. Oh, very busy here. I think they also just sell the same, same things. Oh. Can you wear it? Wow. Can I wear it? Wow. I'm in Vietnam since uh, over a year. And the first time, oh, this one looks very cool. I look like, uh, uh, like from a cut. Take one, the head for you, for the souvenir. <laughs> yeah, souvenir for you. Uh, I look like a Chinese cartoon. Oh, but they have those everywhere. And in India, they have them with a smell. They even smell good, yeah. Let's see if we can find something more. But I'm not sure. Like here it's all the same, it's uh, just a dry fish. Let's see if we can go on a coffee hunt. It's very popular here. Popular in Vietnam. Yeah, I was about to say popular all over Vietnam. All right. I think we, we again go on our hunt for coffee. For coffee? Yeah, you want food, I want coffee. Let's, let's see if we can find some coffee somewhere. I see they are making, they are making drinks. What are they making? They have coffee? No. Oh, coconut. Yes, no. Oh, the coconut we tried in the... Oh, the water coconut. Okay, we are back on the boat yeah. and we are in manual mode now and we are still on our hunt for coffee and some noodles. So we're gonna update you once we find it. There's still people selling fruits and stuff everywhere, but it's just boats and boats and boats full of tourists. I've never seen so many tourists in my life. Oh, I think we're getting back to uh, that boat of the noodle seller. Ah. We can even have coffee here, I guess. We, we even have a man selling the lottery tickets here. So our driver here, he just pushed us through all of the other boats so we can get some coffee and some noodles. So he just pushed all the other boats away so we can get some. <laughs> He's a very... You want strong. some of the uh, noodles? Yeah, maybe we can buy one and share. Oh, yeah, we, we're not gonna get the fermented fish, we're gonna get the tomato and tofu. Yeah. Oh, yeah. It's the most, most thing to try here also. And let's... She has coffee, but I don't know if we can reach her. Because there's one boat between us. 
Okay, right, I think we just ordered our coffee yeah. and our noodles on the other side. Yeah, you have coffee here and yeah. over there. It can that, be more convenient. That's funny, yeah. Coffee on one side yeah. and noodle right on the other side. Oh. And even the driver of Edible is eating breakfast. Yeah, that's and so having coffee. Cool. And we're just surrounded. They have coffee. Yeah, we got the coffee and it's the regular price, 15k, so half a dollar, a bit more. Yeah. Wow. And the noodles, I think they're coming. Yeah, they're going to try the... Let's coffee. see how the boat coffee tastes. Oh, he, he even built us a little oh, table a here. Table. Wow. A dining table. Oh, that's good. Cool. Let's see how the boat coffee tastes. Tastes different. It's different than normal coffee, it's boat coffee. Less strong than normally. Yeah, it tastes, it tastes interesting. It tastes like because in the other place we tried. You know, in Mekong Delta, it is sweeter than the other regions of Vietnam. Oh, we should go then to the north. I want spicier, not sweeter. Mm. Let's see when the noodle comes. For spicy, you have to go to the central. Or for salty, you should go to the north. I will go to the north and north? through the central and north. Oh, central north. Yeah, one salty and uh, spicy. So let's see, noodles noodle are coming. Here you can see the number one most famous shoe of Vietnam. Yeah. Everyone in Vietnam has those shoes. Do, do, you, you, do you have one of those? I used to wear one. Oh, you see, everyone in Vietnam has one of those. Oh, yeah. And here the soup comes. Oh. It's it looks very thing. good. It looks very different from from the tomato and uh, and toma tomato and tofu. Well, I thought it's tomato and tofu. Where is the tomato and tofu? I don't know. I only see pork here. Uh, but you can give it a taste, a try. Yeah, for sure. Yeah, also, they don't different. they don't put too much soup, uh. so that it doesn't uh, spill. All right. Let's try the boat noodle. Oh. Mm. I think it's the same we tried in the food video. Is it the fermented fish? No, no, it's the pork. Mm. Just thin pork. Yeah. It's very good. You should try it. It tastes like boat. Just from the outlook, it's like very different from the one that I have that I had before. Yeah, the flavor is not so strong. Uh. And how is the boat noodle? Tastes like boat. Mm. What is better, land noodle or boat noodle? Boat noodle. Boat noodle? Yeah, it's, so, it's better. You know, right, the broth is like very clean. So, boat noodles, do they have to be cooked on a boat or just be eaten on a boat? Both. <laughs> oh, okay. So, so, if you just cook them on a boat and eat them on land, they're gonna taste bad? Yeah. If you, if you cook them on land, eat them on a boat, they're gonna taste bad. But if you do everything on the boat... It could be good. Yeah. It has to be good. Then you have the original taste. Actually, they also put the shrimp paste here. You can smell a little bit of shrimp paste. Can you try the broth? Not too strong, but the Oh, yeah, good. it's very salty. Yeah. <laughs> shrimp paste. Wow, wee wow. wow. <laughs> but the broth is like more flavorful than what yeah. I expected. Yeah, like very clean. Chilies. But like very flavorful. Wow. At the meantime, our driver is just helping the restaurant and the other people uh, he's a good connect guy. all the boats and even uh, even clean the dishes and stuff. <laughs> and we have other other people here on the boat next to us. Yeah. And I think after the noodle we're gonna continue. So we're gonna finish the food now and see you then. Okay, well, hey guys, we're back on the boat. We finished the noodles, yeah. and actually, they just throw the uh, the leftover noodles and stuff just back into the water. <laughs> so it's the circle of life. Even pork. Yeah, the fish gonna eat the pork. Then, the, so so even 
imagine you're a Muslim and you eat some fish from here, oh. and it actually has pork inside oh. because of the noodles. No. But it's a circle of life. They just throw it back in, but it's fine because it's it's just food. Yeah, and soup. Fish. Soup is just water. Oh. And I think now we are on the way back. It's now seven in the morning. The sun is coming, very bright in our faces from there. And I guess we see you when we're back on land. There are still groups of tourists coming. So you don't necessarily have to get up at 5. You might also can go here at 7. But maybe it's, it's more crowded now, or maybe less. But there's a lot of people, like maybe like 500 tourists. Yeah, that's a lot. And so many tourists here. How much does it cost, like the group boat? Group boat. For one person is only 100k. Yeah, so four dollar if you want to be on a boat like the big ones. Yeah. And you have to go with a group, but it could be much cheaper and like the boat is also like stable. More yeah, stable. the boat is more stable. But on a private boat, you can tell your driver anything you want to go anywhere. It just offers me to buy apple, pineapple. Oh. <laughs> and it's just 14, 15 dollars, something like this. We have a boat bringing some sand. Maybe they're gonna build some beaches. <laughs> New beaches. But yeah, I guess that's the end. If something else is happening, I'm gonna put it in, but... So in the background there's one boat and it's sinking. Like a real boat sinking and they're rescuing everything from the boat. Never seen a sinking boat before. But the people look fine, someone is happy them. But it's not like a small cruise boat, it's a private big boat. But yeah, back to bus Tommy. Show, whoa, 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 this is shaking. Show the video to your grandchildren, to your neighbors, to the to local, po pet? to the local policeman. Uh, tell it to the news. Uh, tell it, just show it everyone, like it, comment and See you in the next video. And if you go to Ho Chi Minh or if you are travel Ho Chi Minh and if you want to have like a, a special or a new experience, you should go to Mekong Delta yeah. and Just go to the floating market. Two, three hours, right? Yeah. So, very close. Yeah. Let's go.